going on, everybody? It's your boy here to give you guys a review for uh, Love and Hip Hop uh, New York. Really quickly, I, I haven't had a chance to really uh, fix my head, so if my head does look lopsided, it is. It actually is. I just got done, uh, you know, literally wearing oh shit, wearing you know my headset and doing some uh, videos for my other channel. So I do apologize. All right, with that being said, um, go ahead and get to the review. I'm pretty much going to skip through the first, like this first scene, because the intro, what I'm giving y'all right now, I believe is more interesting than this shit. Yanni meets up with Juju, gives her a little down. Hey, that's what it is. Happened between me and DC. But she did reveal that Erica's best friend hits her up and says that she wants to meet with her because it has something to do with Little Man DC. And, you know, I guess his well being is involved. So she's going to meet up with her. You have, um, Remy and Papoose talking about the whole uh, pregnancy thing and, you know, the person that she hired to, you know, run the other half of what she's doing. She's pregnant. Ideas in his head. We moving the fuck on. Cisco meets with Tara. We see her back. Cisco is sitting here trying to give us his best acting fucking chops. But her whole thing is like, you fucked up because you took money out of his pocket. And if you were mad at fucking, you know, um, Rich, why the fuck you take it out on him? That whole fucking thing, do you want to make it better? These two arguing like they in a fucking relationship. I don't fucking know. And that's all the fuck that I got for that. I, I, here's the thing, y'all. I, I can only give you what they give me. And I'm not going to sit here and, you know, dig into shit that we've already dug into. I'm just not going to do it. You know, with that being said, let me sip my tea. Y'all know it's a long alley, so y'all ain't even got to ask. All right, so uh, Schnoob is in the studio with Sofa Grain. Uh, cutting the track. I really didn't cut my damn hair out. Fuck it. You know what? I'm going to do it on camera. Y'all get the fuck over it. And she has a friend come through. I, I didn't catch the, you know, the cast name, but I mean, it is what the fuck it is. And, you know, uh, she mentions, um, what's that girl name? Uh, J.A. And, you know, that whole thing. And he's like, hey, you know, don't be mixing, you know, business, you know, with pleasure, you know, that whole thing. And she knew whole the and thing is like, you know, I'm not trying to, might be, it, I hit the wrong damn button, but her whole thing is like, you know, I just want to do the business thing, and, you know, whoop, whoop, the whoop, but he's just like, you know, this could go real left, and Snoop's whole thing is like, I'm trying to break into the in, this industry, I'm trying to do this shit right, I don't need nothing fucking this up. So you got self with Major Galore, you know, um, and he tells her that he gonna put on the uh, powerhouse pre-stage. Because he has a slot for it, to get her ready for the big stage. And she even mentions that, you know, she heard Mariah was talking shit to another uh, DJ saying, don't spend my records and this, that, that, woo, woo, woo. But Silv said he gonna go ahead and talk about that. So Remy is, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it was uh, Hip Hop Honors that she was at because Little Kim was getting uh, tributed, Salt and Pepper with Spinderella was, and Missy Elliott was, and she was, oh, and Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah, too. But uh, she was doing uh, one of the tributes to uh, Missy, and she was doing work it. When it's all said and done, she meet up with Pat. Pat, like, I got a present for you. Get her a present. He's like, I think I hit a home run last night. I'm, I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm getting to a point where I'm about to just say, fuck them with this damn storyline. All right, so sell me so with Mariah. And, you know, she pretty much. Still on that, I want to be the first lady bullshit. And Mariah says that, you know, she um she said some things uh, talking about Major Galore. And it's mostly the uh, Instagram post about her being first lady. Can't nobody take that away from her. And I mean, granted, this is reality TV. I won't pretend as if this shit is not fucking with Travis as much as I can. But my whole thing is, one, why the fuck are you on her uh IG like that, like real fun talk. Like if you don't check for some, if I don't check for somebody, I'm not gonna be on date nothing. And I've made it clear. And even on this channel, if somebody decide they want to sit here and say, I tell people keep the bullshit with me. If somebody got my name in their mouth, let them. Don't bring me that shit. And my thing is, if you carry a bone to me, that means you take a bone. So if a mother be like, oh yeah, so and so sent you some block delete and keep the fucking moving because i ain't got time for that fucking bullshit real fucking talk that's that i don't even fucking get down like that you know and i try to stay out of fucking drama you feel you know what i'm saying so with that being said i'm just like that's some fuck shit that you even owe her fucking page like that like for real for real and then oh fucking IG post man get the fuck out of here 
But um, Cell pretty much says he wants them to sit down so they can come for the situation, whatever. Yanni meets up with Erica Friend. I get her name because the bitch is fucking irrelevant. And um, she says that she has recordings of Sam and Erica trying to plot on Yandy. Now, the whole premise of this is their plan is to keep the kids away. They want to sit here and, you know, conjure up some type of story to say that either Yanny or Medici, one or the other, is cheating on the other, have that shit hit the blogs, and they're trying to keep the kids away until they can sit here and leak the sad fucking story. Now, Yanny's whole thing is if, if you a friend of her, how I know you not sitting here and doing ooh, I do, and she says that they were trying to make me think that you were this horrible person, but then Samantha flipped on me, despite the fact Erica is her friend, but Sam flipped on me, so I just kind of say it, and I'm sitting back like, this don't make not a motherfucking sense now. If, I'm not even going to get into it, because I'm not going to talk about it, because I don't even want to buy a hint that I'm trying to sit here and be shady on some other shit. But, she pretty much says that, Yanny says, hey, well, why don't you email me the shit, so I can have it on deck, so, you know, when they try to come at me, she was like, okay, and then they walk away. When the fuck did y'all exchange email addresses? I can't. Yeah, this fucking episode is completely fucking losing me, y'all. I'm giving y'all the best that I can. I guess this is gonna be a motherfucking quickie. But anyway, Mariah Major, they sit down. These two, these two helpers go back and fucking forth. We don't fucking get nowhere. Self so says, okay, you bring your best record, you bring your best record. Y'all can perform for, you know, my team. I ain't gonna say that fucking dumbass word. And whoever has the best you know, uh, display will get that slot, you know, even though it was already promised a major galore. Snoop has her showcase. I mean, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was decent, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you got Jay in the back, loud, loud, than the motherfucker. And, you know, it all concludes, you have Sophie, Jay, and Snoop, and, you know, they talking, and, you know, Snoop is trying to say congratulate Jay, not Jay, but, uh, uh, Sophie Green, and then, you know, uh, Jay, she's like, you know, be quiet or some shit like that, and that automatically just rubs Snoop the wrong motherfucking way, so now Snoop is just like, you know what, and it goes left faster than a motherfucker, and then, you know, next thing you know, like I said, J.A. is drunk than something, he'll say, you can fuck who the fuck you want to, and Snoop just like, wait, what? What the fuck? And then walks off. I really feel like I have wasted my fucking Monday night. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Anyway, the whole shit between Snoop and fucking Jay, Snoop fucking does that shit, walks the fuck off. Her whole thing is, my personal life is just that, this business, blah, blah, yah, yah, rah, rah, moving on. Cisco and Peter meet, meet up and whatnot, apparently Cisco won't sit here and try to make things right. Now, Cisco thinks that $10,000 ain't shit but chump chain. I'm gonna keep it all the way wide with you. If I was a billionaire, bruh, it could be $5. Motherfucker, you gonna run me that $5, okay? You feel what I'm saying? Granted, I'm not hung up on money, but at the end of the day, it ain't, it's nothing but the fucking principle of the matter. And here's the thing, 10 stacks may not be anything for you. You ain't got five, I'm sorry, 10 mouths to motherfucking feed in addition to all the other baby mamas that you low-key gotta fucking, you know, sit here and throw a little bit of change at. Now, Peter pretty much tells him, it's like, on some real shit, man, the way you step to me, if regardless, shit would have played out the same exact way. Now, Cisco feels kind of way he's like, oh, I can't know, you know, make amends this and third. So he wants to see it bugger be like, so it'll be the same thing. Same thing. He was like, well, I'm going to save you the trouble. And then, you know, Peter come across the car. All right. So they get ready to go at it. They get broke up. Peter is just like, man, what, what's up? Talk to me. Like, what the fuck is it? Because, you know, I was going to, you know, forgive the transgression pretty much. Cisco is just like, man. You acting like you the only one that got something going on. Like, you got your kids. I ain't got mine. He tells you, you know, what's going on here in his life. Peter sit here, you know, like, oh, my gosh. Now nah, I fucking feel bad. You know, like, bro, you know, let, you know, let's just let it go. You know what I'm saying? You know, so, you know, he consoled, give him a hug. Man, what's going on with the family? Yeah, yeah, rah, rah, blah, blah. Then they talk the shit out. And then Cisco, like, you know, I'm going to give you money. Fact. Peter gonna be like, oh, well, I'll, I don't need the money. That's where it ends. So this is where the review is officially over. Right the fuck quick. I don't know if it's because I'm a petty motherfucker. I don't know if it's if I'm a shady motherfucker. I, I don't really know what the fuck it is. It might just be because I don't know. 
but I'm going to say that it, it more than likely is just the fact that I'm a fucking Capricorn. First off, I'm going to keep it all the way 1,000 with you. I hold grudges. I do. I, I hold fucking grudges. You, you feel what I'm saying? And it's one of those things where it's just like, I could be cordial with a motherfucker, but when I, trust me when I say, it depends on the transgression that I'm holding against you. One, two, most motherfuckers I don't fuck with, bruh, bruh, bet you are a ghost to me. You feel what I'm saying? And and, and I'm keeping this shit, and I'm being straight up 100 with y'all. Like, if y'all knew my fucking family, they will confirm this shit. It's motherfuckers in my family that I don't even fucking talk to. You don't even fucking exist. Shit, I came home, she, one cousin I, I don't fuck with. It's like, oh, you know, I miss you. I'm like, no, the fuck you did. And I want the fuck off. Ain't shit else need to be said between us. Like, don't even, don't fucking talk to me. Please don't. Don't, don't even fucking. And I let a motherfucker know real quick. If I can sit and cut family off, it ain't shit to sit here and cut a friend, associate, whatever. If I can cut off family, real fucking talk. And even though my father did pass away in May last year, he got he was cut off for for the two years I was in Korea. I ain't say shit to him. You know what I'm saying? And I don't regret that because I had my fucking reason. What I'm getting at is it ain't shit to cut off a motherfucker, especially if we ain't fucking blood. Man, it ain't shit. It ain't a damn motherfucking thing. And then, man, and then you owe me ten motherfucking stack. I ain't no way in the fuck if I do. Well, it ain't. I mean, I can forgive. Trust me, I'm not gonna forget. Let me be clear about that. I can say and forgive you, but I don't want to see you. I don't want shit to do with you. And for me, and I, I wish the fuck I would be like, nah, you can keep the money. Shit, run that. Run it, run it. Better yet, go ahead and wire that shit into my account so I ain't got to sit here and look crazy trying to take 10 stacks into the motherfucking bank. Y'all let me know how the fuck y'all feel about the internet. That's all I got. Hopefully it's entertaining, y'all. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys. I believe Little Women come on Wednesday. Whatever day Little Women of Atlanta come on, y'all will see me then. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.